Open for fuels. I mean, the game sounds fun, but woo! Hey, and welcome to Open for Views. Today's game break is Gauntlet 4 for the Sega Genesis. I'm going to pop it into the Model 1 over here. I'm using the six-button Sega Genesis controller, which I lied about in a previous episode, saying it came as a pack-in with the Atari 2600. <laughs> Let's play some Gauntlet 4. Gauntlet 4 was released in 1993 by Tengen, who approached prolific port developer M2, who at the time was working on a port of Gauntlet for the Sharp X68000. And the Genesis and the Sharp X68000 share a similar processor, the Motorola 68000. So I'm sure Tengen didn't have that hard of a time convincing them to move development over to the Genesis, or the Mega Drive as it's known in Japan and Europe. Right here, as you can see, it has a pretty standard arcade mode, arcade port then it has Battle Mode, which is a, essentially a four-player deathmatch that made use of the Sega Genesis's uh, Team Player, which is a multi-tap, because the Genesis only has two controller ports. There's Record Mode, which is arcade mode, but it has a password system. That's pretty sweet. But the real meat and potatoes of Gauntlet 4 is the Quest Mode. It's a fully featured RPG with Gauntlet as the core. So you can pick one of four characters. You can pick the Fighter, the Warrior, the Valkyrie, the Wizard, and the Elf. I'm going to pick the Fighter, because I always do. You can type in a name if you want to, but if you just press Start, types in a predetermined name, Thor, for the Warrior. This is a little uh, story uh, introduction to the game, tells you kind of what's happening in the Gauntlet universe at the time. But if you hear the music, you notice it's music that's not really in Gauntlet. It's because it was composed by Hitoshi Sakamoto and Masaharu Iwata, who now those guys are legendary. Final Fantasy Tactics, Final Fantasy XII, Tactics Ogre, Magical Chase. Uh, Sakamoto is actually, his latest work for uh, Astria Ascending is coming out pretty soon here in the U.S. Some call them adventurers! Yeah, here, let's go ahead and get past this so I can actually show you what the game is. M2, uh, as this is going on, M2 is uh, the Upport developer. They are known for the Sega Ages games. They are known for uh, Castlevania Rebirth for the Wii, Gradius Rebirth. None have succeeded. Will you? That's the real question. All right, so here we go. This is the hub in Gauntlet. So let's walk up here to the Dwarven shop. Your face is that of an adventurer. Why, thank you. In that case, I will give you some good advice. The tower is replaced by a maze. If you don't step on the trap, you cannot proceed. One more thing, find a crystal in a tower. This is the key to breaking the seal. So good luck to you. You got a heal drink and a warp wing. Welcome. So right here is the shop. Uh, as the, the warrior, you can purchase axes and other equipables that alter your stats, wristband, bracelet. And there's a whole list of them. They just, you know, it's great. And then consumables, warp wings, heal drinks. Let's leave this shop. All right. So there's four different towers that you can go to. Uh, you can choose whichever one you want to go to at the beginning of the game. Open world. So we have the fire tower. We have the earth tower. Wind. Let's get on over here. <laughs> and the water tower. And... After you defeat each one, you get an item that lets you unlock say, each one of these to be able to get into the castle. Let's go ahead and take a peek at the fire tower so I can actually show you what the game looks like. <laughs> it's Gauntlet, but an action RPG. Floor one. So it's Gauntlet. You, you walk around mazes, totally original mazes in this mode. You collect treasure. You destroy enemy spawn points. 
It's gone. If you're familiar with Gauntlet, you're going to be familiar with this. But you're gathering gold to be able to go to the shop and buy your upgrades. There's a little item that lets you... Like, as people who've played Gauntlet will know, your health constantly drains. That's one of the things. There's a way to get you to pump a quarter into the machine. But there's a little item called a heal ring that you can equip, and it stops that. It stops the drain. But this is one of those games I could endlessly play until until my face falls off. It's awesome. The controls are super responsive. The tunes are righteous. And it's gauntlet. Right? I'm going to step on this little trigger right here to open up this area. Say, And it's just this maze labyrinth that interweaves through all of the different floors. Oh, there's little tiles that, see this tile right here, you cannot shoot long distance attack. So it gives you this really annoying sound. <laughs> Some of them don't let you cast spells. Others make you like on the, the, the water stage, there's like a slippery one. moving let's blow this stuff up but as you're doing this you're gaining experience as well wiping out enemies travel to different floors just like gauntlet oh and right here stat breakdown 114 experience points and 133 gold gained on that floor but right here is your level up screen essentially so you gain your experience right now we have 114 i don't know if you can see that see through my hand because i know what i'm doing uh 114 experience right here this top one a uh, little looks like a potion that's your magic ability the little round thing is the strength of your ranged attacks and the sword is the strength of your close range attacks the lightning bolt is the speed at which your long distance attack travels the shield is defense, and the arrow is the speed at which your character moves around, your character movement speed. And then right down at the bottom, you can also upgrade your hit points. If you move over, you can see your equipment screen, what you're equipped with currently, and then your uh, uh, item screen. You know, you can, you've got a heal drink, you've got a warp wing. Warp wing works like it does in a bunch of other action RPGs. It warps you back to your, to your home base, the hub. And I'll show you something else interesting about the hub. See, right now we have uh, 1,757 health. So if we make our way back to the hub, we are completely healed. So that's the whole point of this game. You grind. You grind and you defeat these areas. You get new equipment. You get new uh, uh, equipables. You get uh, equipment and equipables. <laughs> you get new weapons <laughs> and you get new equipables. But the whole point is to unlock the castle area, which is the final maze. And down here at the bottom is the magical room, which is the place where you get your password. The password, right, so you have to type in your name, and then this is your character password up top, and the one at the bottom is you, the uh, distance you've traveled in the current tower. It says fire, you know. So you have to put in those two passwords. Another cool thing about the password system, in that four-player deathmatch mode that I mentioned earlier, if and you can play the RPG mode with four people. You can, you can play with a group of people and run around and blow stuff up, but you can also take your leveled-up character into the deathmatch mode and fight against, uh, fight against your friends with your leveled-up character. But we live in an era where people kind of consider passwords to be a nuisance. But we also live in an era of cell phones, and it makes it amazingly convenient for you to be able just to take your cell phone, snap a picture of your password, and, you know, really not have to worry about it. It's awesome, right? But Gauntlet 4 comes extremely highly recommended. It has righteous tunes, the game plays extremely well. The labyrinths are confusing. It's great. <laughs> I really recommend if you want to play a, uh, a, a, a good upport 
of a classic arcade game if you like action RPGs or if you just like games that its base concept is slightly turned on its head, Gauntlet 4 is the game for you. The time has come, though. We were open before, but now we're closed. Beat it.